DMP, that one thing, back in here. Close the door. Lock it behind you. And today, while you here, I'm going to show you how to restore a mess up session in Studio One Five. The autosave is awesome. I'm going to show you how to restore and use the autosave feature in Studio One Five so you don't have to break that horrible news to a client. Hey, I closed the session without saving it. I owe you a free session. I'm sorry. I apologize. I don't have any of the files. I'm about to show you how to retrieve those files and use the autosave function in Studio One Five. Even if when Studio One Five prompts you a second time at the end of the session asking if you want to save these deleted files, I can I can bring you back from no man's land. I could even get the files you deleted as if you have your computer even set the default. You don't really have to set this up. This is actually default for Windows and Studio One Five together. So let me show you how to do that first. Let's open up Studio One Five. Okay, this is the session you have open. You're recording, you're doing stuff. You got things going great. Yo, 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 My light just went out. Me. I can't even record right now. I'm in the dark. Should I keep going? I might can fix that. Oh, we just got, you know, I just tighten up the bokeh or something. Gotta improvise. It's gotta improvise. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep rolling. You just gotta improvise. I don't feel like waiting for that thing to charge. You just gotta improvise. You got everything going, you're recording, you're having a good time, and you are not saving your project, which you should do periodically. Every time you just, you know, control S, you know, whatever, command S. Just constantly save your project. Every time you do something, save it. Even if while I'm, while I'm recording, somebody's still recording, I'll hit it just because I remember to do it. It doesn't hurt anything, even if the playhead is moving and it's recording. So at this time, I just recorded all that and I want to restore the session. I hit the X. Do I want to save? No. It's not save. So to restore that session, what you would have to do to Studio One, hit restore session here, restore version. Here in this window screen, here, this wouldn't say original. It would say original and then auto save. When you click the auto save, the net, the very next, if you have files that are missing, it should just be there. Like everything that's there is there like this. But let's say you did not, or you failed to save the session while you were recording and you recorded a lot and you exited out without saving the files, even though it prompts you a second time and asks you, do you want to delete these recorded files? If you hit, yes by mistake and you delete those files there is a way you can retrieve and i'm gonna show you how right here so let's open this original file and look at the difference between the file i just saved and the file that i'm restoring it has an extra track and it's asking me for this missing track here now if you ignore it every time you open the session it's always going to ask you for that missing track but if you just look at the time and date 2020-1202, you could probably find that missing track in your recycle bin. And you look for the particular file. If it's a recorded file, then it would have the record number record four. And let's say it would be record 492, and that was this day. So you just click that file and restore it if you deleted it at the end of the session. If you didn't delete it at the end of the session, you can skip this step because it'll still be in Studio One Five and it won't prompt you. But if it prompts you and you deleted it, hopefully it's still nine times out of 10, it's still in the recycle bin. If you set your recycle bin to you know not store the files and just delete them right away, you're messing up because you're running a studio and you kind of want to just keep that keep safe and just recycle or just empty that recycling bin, you know, when you know that everything's caught up and up to date, you definitely are positive and sure that you don't need the files in that bin. Remember, oh, hit the recycle bin, grab the files, then click restore on the files, then also restore that same file inside the program and voila, my track is back. I can listen, I can resave it file. Save as snapping. Yes, thank you. So, 
that is how you restore your session if you lose it because there's an auto save feature there's an auto save feature and it saves ass that's how you do it it's easy it's what why am i so blurry so that's how you do it you know it's some bokeh in this thing so that's it that simple it's really fast really easy just make sure you hit save anyway so you don't have to go through that sometimes people get a little tipsy when they're working including myself and we forget or my mind fails to recall tmp we out